Hello and welcome everyone to Variety Stick and we back again for another video. In today's video I will show you the steps that you need to do to perform hard reset to the LG Stylo 6. So without any further ado, let's find out. Now before we go any further in this video, I want to explain to you a few things. I mean, first of all, doing hard reset means you're going to lose everything on your cell phone pictures, contacts, text messages, etc. Unless if you have a backup, then you can retrieve after you do the factory reset. Second important thing, doing hard reset means if you have a Gmail account already synced on the phone after you do the hard reset, the phone still gonna ask you to use the same Gmail and the same password for that Gmail in order to bypass the activation screen. So be careful about this point. Other than that, you're gonna be locked with the activation screen. Now doing the hard reset for the LG Stylo 6 it should be easy and straightforward. All you have to do, press the power key, turn off the phone completely, and then what you need to do, press the volume key and power key at the same time for around like a second, and then you should be able to see LG Stylo 6 coming on the screen. And then you have to release your finger only from the power, and that time you have to keep on the volume down. And for like a second or so, you have to put your finger back on the power key and then you should get the menu to perform the factory reset I'm gonna show you all of that actually but I'm here to tell you about another problem you may face of doing the hard reset for the LG Stylo 6 that when you have actually a fingerprint or lock pin on the phone that's not gonna make it easy for you to switch off the phone for instance I have a pattern here if I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the phone the whole reason you want to do the hard reset because basically you have some difficulty actually to bypass the the lock screen so if you try and turn off the phone the phone won't turn off unless if you put whatever pattern or pin or use your fingerprint so that's not going to make it actually easy for you but don't worry i'm here to show you actually the right steps where you can perform the hard reset even if the screen won't turn off now if your phone turn off, so go ahead and do the steps I explained to you. And if phone doesn't turn off because you have lock screen, and then follow my steps. First of all, you will have to press the power key and volume down key together till the phone restarts. Normally take three to four seconds, the phone will restart. After the phone restarts completely, you have to release your finger from both power and volume down key and then put them back. And you should do the same thing. After the phone restarts, you will get the LG logo. And during the time, you are holding on the power and the volume down key. And then release your finger from the power. Keep on the volume down. And then you should get actually the uh, bootloader menu where you can factory reset your phone. So it's going to be the same steps except the first step, which is uh, making restart for the phone. Now I'm going to go ahead and hold the power key and volume down key together. And you're going to get a message at the phone's going to now release, put your finger now remove from the power, put it back. I'm holding on the volume down key and I got to the uh, bootloader menu. Now, when you get to this point, the touch is not going to work. So what you need to do, navigate through the volume up down key and then the power will be the select button. So if you want to go ahead and do it, you have to press on the power key. That means yes, you will get another confirmation message that everything is going to be erased from your phone. You're going to delete everything. So if you're sure that you want to do this, you can go ahead and confirm that process. Press on the power key again. The phone normally take from five to seven minutes to perform all the hard reset and your phone is going to go back as factory. Now, if you have Gmail account already on the phone, you have actually to use the same Gmail account to bypass the activation screen. If you don't, then you're going to be fresh as the first day you purchase the phone. And that was very much it for that video. Thank you so much everyone for watching. I wish you guys find this tutorial helpful. If it did, thumbs up, subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified when I upload videos in the future. Thank you so much. I will talk to you in the next video.